I think enough is enough. Okay. I've not met a student as disruptive, lack of engagement. She's not coming either, is she? And she doesn't seem to enjoy no. it. And I'm really worried about her ability, her capacity to actually do this course. Yeah, I mean, she's not engaging, is she? I mean, we know with her autism as well and with the learning difficulties. But she's got the support there, she's got you there. Yeah. And she's, she doesn't want to know. I really think the kindest thing is to say, come on, enough is enough, you ought to do something else. Yeah, and I think we need to share this with the family now. Okay, you go and get Jess in, in the family. I'm yeah, yeah, I've got the idea. Hello. Hello. Um, hello, thank you. Um, we're here to talk about Jess, who's obviously not arrived today. I can't say I'm surprised because of all the issues that we've had about her attendance at college. Yes. Yeah. And you are, sorry? Sorry, should have done introductions. My name's Claire and I'm the Level 3 Animal Care Course Tutor. Hello, I'm uh, Madge. I'm Jess's Nana. I'm Jolie and Jess's mum. Oh, nice to meet you, Julie. I'm Gemma Wilkinson, I'm one of the educational psychologists attached to college um, and I know Jess from secondary school as well. Right, Sue said that you might be coming. Okay. I'm Catherine, the education support worker here at the college. Okay. Um, so the reason we wanted to have the meeting, uh, I think you phoned Julie to ask about some leave mm -hmm. for Jess. Uh, we've actually been trying to contact you, we've been trying to contact you for weeks on end We've tried to contact Jess as well because Jess has a comes up with no number of, and don't answer and we're afraid. <sighs> right. I was wondering if we'd actually got the right number. Yes, <laughs> old boy. yes, yeah. yes I. Because we've sent letters by Jess, uh, we've had lots of issues with her attendance and prior to that, when she was coming into college, she was being late, her behaviour was very disruptive, she really was loud. She was lessons, yeah, quite bad really. Not getting, the others. not getting on with the other students and, and we've got serious doubts about Jess's capacity really to complete this course. Yeah. Can I just ask exactly what you know about Jess? We've had the things from school, the school centre's profile, we, we, we and we deal with um, young adults with autism. We have, we've, the whole department have had training, yes. we've had lots of students with autism, I've never had to deal with somebody who's as disengaged as Jess is. I'm really questioning whether she's... Look, let me stop I actually wish I got a pound for everybody that sits there and says to me, we've had training on autism. Autism is a diagnosis, it's a big spectrum. What have you actually, what do you actually understand about Jess as an individual? Well, and how she, autism affects her? And well, what needs she's got? Well, she's not been attending, so I'm not sure that we've been able to I address her. Yeah. Because well, she's not been here. Well, what about sensory issues? What about... Essentially, needs. What do you know about them? Well, um, you know, we, we've, got the we've got the information that came from school. Yes. I'm not sure. Well, what about the information that we I gave at the interview that we had? So we came into it. So I listened to what? I think one of the things with Jess, obviously, we know about her sensory needs, but the, another thing that she finds difficult is meeting new people. So while she's a very bright young lady, um, and you know, she, the course that she's on, definitely academically, she's got the capability of meeting that cognitively. Mm -hmm. um, she does need support to um, talk to new people, build relationships. She, she doesn't seek support without it kind of knowing that it's okay first. She needs that, that kind of, she needs adults to, to do that bit for her so that she feels secure and able to talk to people. But we have explained all that, haven't we, at that meeting that we had? That college is about independence, yeah. about doing it is. things on their own, really. Actually, it? college should be about meeting individual needs of each young person. If some young people struggle with independence. Surely that's your role to help them develop that independence. There's a pastoral support team yes, there is. available if, that, if she wants to access that. But you just, you just listen to what Ed Sykes said. She just said that she struggles to access things like that. I have, we actually have had this conversation and explained all this to you. I can't believe it's got to this length of time before we sat here having this discussion. I'm sorry you feel like that, I, but I, I would question her level of ability because... Excuse me, Jess is an extremely bright young person if people actually know how to work with Jess. I think perhaps we need to look at ways forward. No, I um, think you're wasting your breath actually because it looks like we've already written her off.
Jess, why aren't you at college? I thought you wanted to go to uni and learn to be a vet. Well, yeah, I do, but... You know, the problem is the tutor was having oranges at dinner. You know what I'm at with oranges. Yeah, I know. You'd think you'd pick it up by now, but it just proper stinks and I hate it. So I'm not going anymore. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello, thank you for coming. Hiya. So, we're going to talk about Jess, who's obviously not here. Um, I can't say I'm surprised because of all the issues that we've had with her attendance. No, a new one? Sorry, should have done introductions. My name's Claire, I'm the course tutor for animal care. Hi, I'm um, Jess. Um, I know I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hello. 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 So, we're here to talk about Jess, who was obviously not here, because, um... <laughs> Jess, why aren't you in college? I thought you wanted to go to uni and be a vet. Well, yeah, I do, but the problem is the lecturer that I've got at dinner, she's eating oranges. You know what I'm like with oranges. Oh, I know what you're like. It proper stinks, and I just don't like it. So, I've just decided I'm not going. You think they'd pick up on it by now, but yeah. <laughs> See what that was like, Lenny. Makes like ooh. <laughs> Jess, why aren't you in college? I thought you had to go to uni and learn to be a vet. Well, yeah, I do, but it's a tutor. She had oranges at dinner. You know what I'm like with oranges. Oh, I don't know what you're like with yours. <laughs> it proper stinks and I just can't cope with it anymore. So I'm not going. Do you think she'd know about that? I mean, she, I'm sure you told about your autism. Yeah, but I know what she's like. She doesn't care. <laughs> That's like, give me the chicken. What are you in your class? I'm not sure about the way forward. Though. It's reached such a peak yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. I think perhaps a good thing to, to do from this point on might be to look at some of the things that have helped perhaps in the past and how they could potentially be put into place moving forward. But before, before we even think about that, if we, um, you say Jess hasn't mentioned anything at home, has, has anybody tried to speak to Jess in college to try and see how she's... Well, I'm saying with this pastoral team, but I don't think she's accessed that. I mean, I'll have to look to find that. I, not well, that I know what she hasn't. But she's not going to access that if she's got difficulties, is she engaging or asking for support? She's not going to ask that. You're supposed to actually pick up on that. Obviously, you've picked up that Jess has got problems. Are you going to say anything here and just sit here? Obviously, you've picked up that Jess has got problems, but... You know, how about supporting with those problems and just not just leaving it, expecting Jess to sort myself. I think for a course like this, that's you know going from level three potentially into higher education, mm -hmm. we would expect a so greater degree of independence. Yes, we would. I would have expected a greater degree of yeah. understanding and knowledge on your side, actually, to actually have looked into what our specific special mm -hmm. needs are. I think that we did try very hard. Um, when, Je when Jess was attending it at the moment, she's not attending. I think we need to perhaps think about here the kind of graduating response that's in place and perhaps look at the um, the structure that's there and try and, and pull together an action plan of ways forwards. That's if you've not already written her off by the 